Hi, I'm Shelby Schaefer. I went to Calumet Christian School and I lead in Sentinel High School group and Pacific College group. So I grew up in Zenos Christian Fellowship. I went to Oasis, I went to Blowout, I went to uh, middle school cell group and probably sitting in the same seat that you are right now. Uh, but it wasn't until much later in life that I realized that I wasn't a believer at all. When I was in eighth grade, I went through freshman transition and I joined a high school group. Uh, however, when I was in high school, I was involved in a lot of extracurriculars. I was involved in music and sports and robotics. And so God just kind of took a, a back seat in my life. And when I did go to a high school group, I didn't really talk to anybody, didn't really understand what was being taught. And uh, that really led to um, me not really wanting to go anymore. I had gone to a high school meeting and was really impressed by the teaching. Uh, it really spoke to me at the time. And at that time, I started becoming consistent in high school group. Uh, fast forward a little bit to college group. Uh, that was when I was getting even more excited about God. I started studying the Bible with a girl uh, every week. And eventually, I moved into a ministry house, which is just a house full of believers uh, all living together. Uh, but at that point, I kind of hit a brick wall. I wasn't moving spiritually. I you know, couldn't understand the Bible. I didn't have a life of prayer. I didn't really have close relationships. And so I didn't really know what to do at that point. But my roommates came to me and they told me about the gospel and you know, asked me what I thought it meant. And it was after the conversation that I realized that it's possible that I might not be a believer. It's possible that for the past 18 years, the gospel has totally gone over my head. And so I prayed to God and I said, you know, God, I don't think I've done this. I want what your son did on the cross to apply to me. I want your forgiveness uh, and I want to spend eternal life with you. And that was the moment that I became a believer and everything changed. So the minute that I accepted Christ, there was a huge change in my life. I was able to read the word and understand it on a deeper level. I was able to have close relationships with people and I was able to pray and connect with God in a way that I hadn't been able to before. And so if you're sitting in this audience right now and you have never made this personal decision to accept Christ into your life, I urge you to consider it. I sat in those same seats that you are right now and I gave the right answers, I spoke up week after week, and I wasn't a believer that entire time. And so I just want to end off on a verse in Romans 10, 9 and 10. It says, If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is by believing in your heart that you are made right with God, and it is by confessing with your mouth that you are saved.